to just stream your break? Dude, what am I supposed to do? Die? Like, I don't... <laughs> Is this your place? No. No, 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 no. No, I live with my mom. Oh. Yeah. Hey, it's, either it's either this or I die. You hungry? Hey, Ma! Can we get some meatloaf? There is always the in the middle of my day when my mom isn't there to cook the uh, chicken for me. <laughs> hey, Ma! <laughs> the meatloaf! Yeah. Oh, no. My, my, Ma, the meatloaf! My mommy, my mommy wasn't, wasn't here. <laughs> what is she doing? I never know what she's doing back there. <laughs> Make the chicken nuggy. Oh, no. What an idiot. <laughs> Definitely, um, definitely, definitely a hot button issue on the um, Twitch streamers or kick streamers versus individual content creators. This is an issue that kind of rears its ugly head every couple of years. And uh, essentially, there becomes a point where a video is very popular uh, and it is it took a lot of work to happen. And then reaction streamers will just restream that person's video, re-upload it to YouTube, title it the exact same thing, put the creator's name in the title, and essentially cannibalize all their views. I've been YouTubing for longer than most. I have a better understanding of fair use than most. This is not me flexing. This is not me being overconfident. This is just the truth. Now, first and foremost, Reaction content, no matter how lazy you might think it is, is absolutely covered by fair use. So when somebody like Hassan Piker or XQC just like plays a video and randomly grunts into the microphone, it's going to be covered by fair use. Um, if you're just playing it unedited and walking away and babysit, you know, to babysit your viewers, I understand. This is the reality. Reaction content can be done in a good way. Somebody like Asmongold, for example, is the gold standard. I think most content creators would be a thousand percent fine with a large streamer reacting to their video. There's a trade-off that happens. Sure, they cannibalize some of your views, but if they're good and they're a conscious streamer, they'll say, hey, this is their channel. Go send them some love. Go over to the comment section and uh, leave some comments. Or if you like the video, go subscribe to their channel. This is a very symbiotic reaction content relationship. Where it gets dicey is when the streamers then double dip by then uploading that VOD to YouTube and then it outranks the original creator. This is scummy. This is not required. See, streamers earn their money by getting live tips from viewers or accepting $5 a month for a Twitch subscription or a Kick subscription or a Rumble subscription or whatever. That's how streamers make their money. A while ago, they realized that they could then double dip by reacting to content, then re-uploading it to YouTube so they could make YouTube ad revenue. Most streamers are not YouTubers. They just dump their videos on YouTube to get free money, okay? And the, the reality is that even this is also protected by fair use. There is things like the letter of the law, and then there are things like the spirit of the law. And where it gets dicey is when streamers will like take all the metadata that was arrived in the original video and re-upload it to where it outranks the original creator. Uh, and then they also don't do the extra work of, you know, uh, uh, you know, helping tell, you know, promote the channel. You're getting free content, free entertainment. Um, you should encourage your viewers to support that creator. And over the weekend, there was a big thing with XQC. It happens all the time. Look, when you have to stream for eight hours, you're going to watch videos. You're going to kill time. I understand. I mean, for me to stream for two straight hours, two and a half straight hours is a lot. Now, none of that is me sitting there silently watching somebody else's 45 minute video and grunting into the microphone occasionally, but I get it. It's a long time. The thing is you see, this video where Mudahar from Some Ordinary Gamers writes, just a shame garbage like this fills the recommended tab. He's talking about on YouTube, you see the title, uh, the Kennedy incident, XQC reacts to Lemino. So the original creator, if I'm saying it right, is Lemino. They put it in the title 
for a reason. It's so that this video will outrank the original creator or will rank against the original creator in the algorithm and they get double the money, right? They got the money from all the subs and the tips while they watched it during their stream, but that's not enough money. They then upload it. So I think that the, the bear, again, this is still fair use, okay? This is still a fair use upload, but I also agree with Mudhar that it is a shame. So XQC gets completely uh, butthurt and says, I wonder what triggers people like you so much. Revenue share? Audience split? Algorithm? I've heard this complaint a million times and most, quote, public figures try to go at it from multiple angles just to fall flat on their face. I'm watching a vid to I like I'm watching a vid I like through my people that's it yeah this is also a guy that streamed the dark knight okay uh he doesn't understand or care about fair use you also have guys like Hassan who says things like you know multi-millionaire social streamer explains while stealing content and breaking copyright law is cool hold on I I'm gonna be back in one second of 8800 blue lick road so right here he's playing another content creator's video uh, unedited for for a long time. Look, you got to go to the bathroom. I'm not even mad at him for having to go to the bathroom, okay? It's his reaction, though, you know, that's hilarious. I don't know how many minutes this is. It's clearly many, 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 many minutes away from the camera. And this is a reaction. Wrong way. Like, how do you think of your viewers to just stream your break? what am i supposed to do die like i don't <laughs> he's supposed to die it's either this or i die it's either oh, this. It's really you could just put up a you could have a little break screen which i'm working on too a little bathroom break screen so it's funny it gives you people something to watch you know something of that nature again is reaction content fair use yes it is we've seen this held up in court I am not refuting that. I think that, you know, what you do is, uh, you know, what you do when you react to it kind of determines if you're a scumbag or not. It can be within the letter of the law, but if you're just doing that, like, again, you got the money for getting subs and tips while you were streaming. It's when the, you double dip and upload it to YouTube and then it competes with the original creator's video that people have, people are generally more upset by. As a creator, I've had people like Asma Gold or other people react to my videos. I've had people like Moist Critical react to my videos in a in, in in a negative way and roast me. I've had people react to my videos in a positive way. It's a part of the a creator infrastructure. You know, it's a part of the creator economy. But I think that it's pretty ridiculous that when you're a creator with millions of subscribers, when you can't do the literal bare minimum and maybe link the original video under your video, give the creator a shout out for crying aloud, out loud, that's free. And then when you have brain dead takes like this, it's your job to DMCA me if you wanna get paid for the work. You see Twitch streamer XQC responds to criticism for uploading full reacts to YouTube's, YouTubers videos on his official YouTube channel. I wonder what triggers people like you so much. He says the responsibility is on the video creator to copyright claim him to receive their revenue. You see, Lemino spends months researching, scripting, and editing a video just for React streamers to re-upload the entire thing and provide zero input. They can claim the whole video and say they do, and they do a lot of times. Well, to be honest with you, the reason, the argument that, well, they can just claim it is not valid because they actually can't claim it because you could very easily say that it's fair use. And then if you make a copyright claim and you, and then you have to go to court basically. So you can, what happens with a copyright claim or strike is the creator can say, okay, this is my video. I don't think it's fair use copyright claim, mounted revenue sharing. Then the creator you claim XQC, who just signed a hundred million dollar contract with kick or whatever it is, can just say, nah, it is fair use. Sue me. And then as a creator, you have no choice but to sue. And again, it is probably fair use. So that's why creators don't claim it. It's not a, a, again, it's not a letter of the law thing. It's the spirit of the law. People like Destiny saying, it's that time again for virtue selling around React content. The reality is it likely causes little to no harm to the actual creators on YouTube. That's verifiably false. And it's a moronic, short-viewed take uh, of the reality of it.
Now, why aren't there legions of creators DMCAing streamers for watching yourself again? It's because it is fair use. It is a disingenuous argument to pretend that, uh, well, why don't they just copyright strike me? It's because it is fair use. It's We're talking about the letter of the law versus the spirit of the law. Mudahar writes in response to XQC, I know you're not the brightest, but I didn't expect you to be this intellectually dishonest. Nothing is inherently triggering when you view live content on a different platform. It's when you re-upload the content to the same platform and have it copy the same metadata to further cannibalize. I agree with him. I get it depends on the creator whose content you're freebooting, but in your own words, just now claim it that you were sharing a video with your fans with no intention to critique or transform it for fair use. We demonize individuals like Jinx back in 2017 and large, we do so as well today. The type of content is even frowned upon by YouTube in large as any web page is repetitive and duplicate content. YouTube will often change its algorithm to fight algorithm abuse content like this. I know you've watched The Dark Knight and animes like Hunter x Hunter. Why not re-upload this as well too? It's because he knows they will copyright strike him. That's why. And, it, and he has to go up against somebody with enough money to fight it in court. You also realize claiming content isn't a task any creator can just do, cr claiming it. It requires access to elevated content management systems only the larger studios and media groups even have. And he's 100% right about that as well. It's, it's a wide, it's a wild, wild wor world where like, it's just these, by the way, XQC and Hassan are both multimillionaires. It's just a courtesy thing. And what these people will do is be disingenuous and present like, bro, just go, what do you mean? Just claim it. What do you mean? Blah, 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 blah. Yes, it is fair use. Nobody is saying it isn't, but it's scummy when you're already a multimillionaire and you have to double dip and then cannibalize the original viewers views. You could see this. I'm against streamers uploading reacts of other full videos of YouTube, but there's a separate argument that streamers watching videos helps the original creator. Hassan watched this video back in April, so I asked its creator to see if his analytics and what happened. The original creator posted a video titled, I tricked the Daily Wire into hiring a leftist. After seven days, it had 3,700 views. His entire channel had 1,900 subscribers. I saw the video, tweeted about it, and then Hassan watched it on his stream. Hassan watched the entire video in full with 27,000 viewers, then linked it in his chat. The current discourse is that doing so steals views from the video creator and those 27,000 views uh, the original video will not receive. That's true. The day Hassan watched and linked Alex videos in chat, it gained 5,900 views, uh, more than all of its views before publishing. In the weeks after that, you gained, YouTube became heavily promoting the video and algorithm. Well, you're making, you can't say that it, it's related. You know, nobody is saying that you have this, that reaction content is exclusively uh, bad. Hassan helping paying it forward is all really anybody asks. And by the way, his reaction to it on Twitch and his shout out of it is what drove the video, not the re-upload that cannibalized his views. And you see, Hassan should not have uploaded his reaction to Alex's entire video on his own channel. So it's a good thing he didn't. Alex uploaded Hassan's reaction himself. A few of the fan clips do. I mean, it can be good. The idea is that it's always exclusively bad is not true, but it's talking about being some, having some common courtesy and not being so lazy and so greedy that, that you won't bother to promote that individual creators and being intellectually dishonest when you're trying to defend it is another ridiculous take. Just shout the people out and there's really creators with 50,000 14 year olds paying $5 a month. You don't need to then double down and re-upload that video to YouTube. I think that's a fair medium ground. Um, and you know, I support creators copyright striking videos where they feel like it's not fair use, especially against these multimillionaires that do it all the time. Shout out the video, direct your viewers to go check it out and subscribe if they like it. I think this is very fair trade-off because it's a great way to get discovered. But the re-upload is what people generally have a problem with. And again, at no point in this conversation did I say it isn't fair use. Now, when Hassan just plays a video and walks away, that's not fair use. But for the most part, it's just the entitlement that gets in people's way.